I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome to Writing on the Wall. This is episode 33, The King of Social Media. That's right, I've established that I'm the king of social media, and I'll show you why. I made some comments on my blog a while ago, and basically what I said was that most blogs are worthless and most social media is suspect. Well, as you know, those of you who have read my blog, contrarianconsulting.com, that created a firestorm. There are 200 million blogs in the world, apparently. 200 million. And how many do you think could be of quality? Haven't watched them all, but the ones I've seen, not good. I have, well, I'll tell you, I've gone on to LinkedIn because people told me I must be on it. And so here's what we've got. This is uh, my homepage on LinkedIn, and it says, as of this morning, I have um, 190 connections, and I have 2,662,900 people linked to me. How do they figure that out, do you, do you think? I mean, is somebody counting? Should I believe that? Two and a half million people linked to me, and uh, 4,000 new people in my network since uh, February 9th. That was just three or four days ago. How does this happen? But here's the important stuff I get on LinkedIn. I learned that um, Laura is traveling to Dallas. Oh, I'm glad to know that. I learned that, uh, let's see, Steve has joined the Tulane Alumni Association. Very important. And uh, let's see, oh, Adrian is up working late. How about that? Ed's now connected to uh, Melinda. James is connected to Sue. And um, oh, Patrick is working on NIMBY. I guess that's not in my backyard. I feel the same way about this. You know, it's more interesting watching the birds on my bird feeder out there. I mean, LinkedIn might be nice if you want to keep track of old college chums or high school chums or grammar school buddies or whatever it is, but I'm not quite sure I see it as a great tool to market consulting services. I get requests for free advice on LinkedIn. People ask me if I'll consult with them for free. I don't think so. Or I get pitches. Somebody has the best idea in the world. That's right, it's going to save humanity if I'll just join in. It usually involves my time or my money. I'll make my bet on the current humanity. On YouTube, and some of you watch these videos on YouTube, on YouTube, 20% of the commentary, my estimation, is obscene or scatological. Zero intellect. It takes zero intellect to make those kind of comments. You have something intelligent to say, fine. Obscenity, I need to go on the web for that. I assume that their posts are typed by some kind of companion animal because these people can't type themselves. People dump their mail lists into these things and everyone's invited. It always says, you're specially invited. It's just for you. You're a special friend. Sometimes I'll ask people who want me in their network on LinkedIn, how do I know you? They're taken aback by the question. But some people I find are collecting stamps. They're collecting people. They're just collecting names. I don't see the utility of it. My son was here from uh, graduate school a couple of months ago, and he was following up with some of his friends on Facebook. I said, Jay, how is Facebook? How does that work? And he said, you know, it's a great way to keep up with people, but it's a huge time dump. I have to agree with that. Twitter is something else. People tell me, oh, I got a speaking assignment from Twitter. I made a new contact. I've got business from Twitter. I don't understand what's so important watching someone close their refrigerator or walk to their car. I don't know where there's enough time in the day to do these things. Now, blogs, if you can find the good ones, and certainly mine's one of the great ones because I am the king of social media, can be very interesting. They can be very entertaining. But there's so much criminal activity. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a guy in Australia who copies David Meister's blog. Now, David Meister is one of the authorities on small business and building practices. Uh, he's an interesting guy. He's an excellent guy. He writes good books. If you go to his website, you'll find wonderful videos. He's a class act, David Meister. This guy takes his work and publishes it on his own blog as if it's his own. There's a word for that in publishing. It's called chutzpah. If David Meister prints that his latest book did something, this guy has his latest book did something, even though he has no books. If David Meister says he visited someone, this guy says he visited someone as if it were he. That's just grand theft. It's plagiarism. You find that all over the blogosphere. Some of you know that Wikipedia killed both Ted Kennedy and Robert Byrd. Now, as of this filming, they are both very much alive, and God bless them. I hope they're doing well. 
hope to reach their age and be as productive as they've been in a lot of ways. But Wikipedia, volunteers on the web pouring in ideas, suggestions, and research kill them both somewhat prematurely. Diverse communication is great. I'm not against electronic communication. I'm not against blogs or Twitter or Twitter or whatever it is. But I'll tell you this, it has to embrace intellect. It has to embrace civility. And it has to embrace responsibility. Is that really too much to ask? One woman who took umbrage, took great exception to my criticizing anybody who publishes on the internet, told me that the best minds in the world are visiting her blog every day. Could that be true or does she just need medication? There are great resources on the blogs, on the, web, on the webosphere. There's a new word for you, on the blogosphere. If I were you, I'd try TED, T-E-D, which is a fabulous source of intellect and intelligence and brilliance. But you have to be careful. You have to find it. You have to extract it from the humdrum. Not all views are equal just because everybody's access is equal. After all, Colfax will tell you, on the internet, no one really knows that you're a dog. Kofax, come on, Kofax. Let's go, Kofax. Come on, Kofax. Good boy.